Hey, what's up? Miranda here. Um, in this video, I don't know if you guys saw my post. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I digitize my button up into iGraphic on for the iPad Pro. I have the 2018. I'll be updating it soon. Um, I'm not going to digitize the whole thing because that will take a very long time. And I have previous videos that shows you how to do that. So this one, I'm going to digitize one piece so that we can move along, get to the next steps in this process. This is going to be a three-part video. The first part, I think I'm going to do the digitizing. I tried uploading this yesterday. It did not work, so I'm just trying to streamline this. Let's see here. How I scale it. There's I've learned a lot in the past couple of years from experimenting with this. So I've learned ways that are more efficient, and I'll show you a way here. I'm going to just print it on my large format printer. Uh, I don't suggest going out and buying one of these unless you're going to be in business because it's not worth the money. Uh, we're going to cut out the paper pattern, which actually I've already done yesterday. Cut out the fabrics and the interfacing. I already did this yesterday. I'll be uploading those videos in probably the second or third video. I did omit the interfacings because I feel like most people know how to do that. If you need any in more detailed um, instruction, let me know. We're going to do a sew along. I kind of sped through this yesterday as well. Um, I'll be uploading that today. It'll probably be the third video. And then we'll uh, talk about the critiques and fixes because I did notice a couple mistakes that I made along the way because I was trying to haul ass. So, all right, let's get started. My dimensions are set up 36 inches wide by 100 long. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm using my wide format printer that will do up to 44 inches. However, I have a roll in there that's 36 inches wide. So this is already formatted for me. If you're printing on your home printer, that's a different story. And hopefully we'll get into that and it won't take another five years. As you've seen in previous tutorials, you want to take photos of your patterns. And you want to make sure you're, when you're taking the photo that, you are ex that your camera is exactly parallel with the ground so that we don't have any distortion. Uh, if you distort it even a little bit, it can really throw off the dimensions of the piece. So we're just going to go ahead and get our pieces in here. I noticed yesterday that I have a piece missing, but it's okay. This piece right here. Um, is actually the left side of the button up of the front button up. There's uh, the piece on the uh, right side or the left side is a little different, but it's okay. We can skip through that right now. Although it's important if you're working for clients, we're going to skip it. So let's get started. Well, we already got started. Now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to shrink this down. And I am going to copy or trace this piece right here. Put your reference photo wherever it's comfortable. And you want to lock it. So you want to make sure it's selected. And you go over here to the roller in the upper right-hand corner up here. Go to Geometry. And in the bottom right-hand corner right here, you want to click that and it'll lock it so that we don't keep shifting it. Now, select your pen over here. Just the normal pen. You can see in the bottom left-hand corner, it's telling you it's the normal pen. And we want to trace this piece. This is going to be folded. So we just need to trace from here to here. Not right there. Then we'll mirror we'll mirror it and flip it. Start in the upper corner right here. And I know this is exactly um, hundred how would you say uh, flat horizontally. So to get it over here perfectly, You can put two fingers on your screen. Right now I'm putting my fingers in the uh, gray area that you see on the left, the lighter gray, not the darker gray. 
and then click it. And is that working? No, oh, it didn't do it. Okay, there we go. Now it <clears throat> copied all the way across. Now I wanna click the highlighted point again, and let's just trace. You should have watched this in my previous videos. There's also, also other, I, there might be other videos on YouTube explaining how to do this. Oops. Just trace it all the way to the fold point. Now what I want to do is I hit the direct select right here and I highlight these two points and I wanna make sure that they are arranged vertically. That'll make it so that when I flip it, it will match up evenly. So once we got that, go to the paper clip, hit copy, paste in place, now go back to your roller in the upper right hand corner and we go to geometry and we want to flip it <clears throat> uh, vertically, which is right here. I mean, I'm sorry, flip horizontally. Now we want to line it up. If you um, want to keep it in line, you put one finger on your screen and it'll keep it in line. Now, let's select them both. Go to the roller, path, hit join paths, and then close path. Now we want to fill it. See what it looks like? Okay, looks good. So I'm gonna put this aside and bring up something I should have mentioned. When you're taking a photo of this piece, or any piece for that matter, when you first are taking your photos of your source pieces, you want to make sure that you measure across the greatest width of your piece and up and down. <laughs> what would be the word for it? So this, this right here is 13.25. And from here to here, is 26.441. So in my case, across here was 13.25, and along here was 26.441. It essentially was 26 and 3 eighths, which is 26.38, but I made it a little longer. Um, I wanted this to be a little bit more feminine. I was gonna make it more of a dress style, but those are things I address, I'm gonna address later. Maybe. So now we got our measurements. And then you can take note on each one of these pieces prior to uploading them to graphics so that you'll have your notes right on the pattern here. For, let's use this one as the example. I know that 13.25 times two is 26.5. So across here is 26.5. I would select the piece, geometry. I would make it 26.5, and this is 26.441. So as you can see, we now have an accurate to scale pattern piece. Here is an original piece I did, so let's see how close it is. Okay, it's pretty much exactly the same. You would go and do it for all the pieces. And to unlock your piece in place right here, you can just select it, go to your roller, and unlock it. And then once copied, you just delete them. So let's say I copied everything. Digitized, let's say I digitized everything. We go ahead and set it in the artboard, 
I'm gonna have to bring these down a little bit. It looks like it's going off. And then um, I'm gonna bring these up a little bit. I wanna make sure it gets on the printer paper. So we have digitized our hard copy. We have scaled it appropriately. Now we are going to print on the large, the large format printer that I have. Um, I'm going to start the second video with that. So I will see you soon in the next video, probably within the next couple hours. Bye.